It's a bridge. Just goes around a corner. Walking on the fight inside of me. I mean, that don't look like it. Robert, it goes down. It don't. It don't go down. Robert, it goes down. No, it don't. It do go down. Oh! Now you might be wondering, why did you bother picking up these things? They don't look like they'd be worth any money. I got $39.99 plus my postage for this one, so yeah, pretty nice uh, sale there. So yeah, we're in the new car. This is like the second journey out for me, isn't it? How many times have you been in it? A few times now. Uh, four, five. Have you been in it yet? Hi there, I'm a, a star guest on reselling. <laughs> So today we are doing a vlog. I've got to be very quick with this intro because we are literally heading off to town now. Uh, I've got to do some shopping and also I've got to get a card for my grandma because it's her birthday. What date is it today? Is it the 20th? I think it's her birthday on the 24th so I need to get her a card and I need to get her a present and uh, oh I need to do charity shops obviously because that's the main theme of this vlog. So yeah with that being said let's get on with it. Alright you're in your new car aren't you? Here it is. Oh, is it Ford Fiesta, yeah. What yeah. what model is it? Z-Tech. Z-Tech, E-Tech, B-Tech, T-Tech. Z-Tech, nice. So yeah, we're in the new car. This is like the second journey out for me, isn't it? How many times have you been in it? A few times uh, now. Four, five. Have you been in it yet? Hi there. I'm a, a star guest on reselling. <laughs> yeah, uh, have you been in it yet? No, he hasn't. No. Oh, first journey, nice. Let's get going. <laughs> So here it is, the new car, Ford Fiesta. Yay. Yeah? What were you going to say? What were you going to say? I'm um, right. I will be appearing as a guest star on the reselling video with the American <laughs> friends very shortly. Well, no, you are, know, for God's sake. I don't even know of a, of a guest show that he's on about. Oh, dear me. You'll be appearing, though, I'm won't appearing. you? I'm appearing. Full met face makeup. So, yeah, you'll be appearing. So we're in Charlie's Cafe in Norwich. Um, Dad's going to have dance. Dad, dad. Dad is going to have a big breakfast. I'm going to have a round of toast. I'm having a couple of rounds of toast. You're having a couple of toast. Even though I've already had breakfast. You've know. got to feed you up, keep you strong, haven't we, for all your videoing. Feed me up with all those carbohydrates. <laughs> no protein whatsoever. So I have just done the first few charity shops thing I've done four, yeah four I think, uh, and I've got five items. I don't know what's going on today but Northwich is doing pretty good. To tell you the truth, this morning I wasn't in a really positive frame of mind. I wouldn't say I was really, really negative but I was kind of swaying a little bit more to the negative than the positive. So yeah, I didn't know coming into it how much I'd actually get because of that slightly little bit more negative mindset. Yeah, I don't know, there's been a few bits, I've got a few bits, you know, so yeah, you sometimes you just can't predict it really and I've got the best charity shop still to still to come really so yeah we'll see how I do in the end and I will uh, get back and show you some of the items I've got some interesting items actually today so pretty excited with them
So I've done most of the charity shops now, oh nearly hit one of them little bollard things down there that you can see. I'm heading across the car park, the Sainsbury's car park to Bernardo's now, the children's store. I don't really go this one that much, I think I've said it before, it's not as brilliant as it used to be. Got some items today anyway, I didn't get any more items in the last few charity shops I went to, which is odd because I got more things from the worst charity shops today than I did from the better ones. Really really weird that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to hit up this last charity shop and uh, then I've got to go and find my mum and dad I guess or in Sainsbury's or something. So I walk into Sainsbury's to try and find my mum and dad and what do you know, I'm greeted by some big banners and loads of red stickers denoting that things are on clearance and it's absolutely awesome. It's the half price toy sale and yes, I know what I'm going to be greeted with next. I'm going to know that obviously all the Lego is only on 20 to 30% discount and not on the 50% as you can see there with that Avengers set. So yeah, I'm going around and thinking, well, this is going to be brilliant because I'm not going to be able to get anything. And what do you know? I was right. Every time I go to Sainsbury's now on this half price toy sale, it's not, it's just not brilliant. Uh, obviously, I don't buy anything other than the Lego, really. That's kind of my forte. So I kind of just go for the Lego. And uh, yeah, it's just never brilliant for it. So I, I looked at a few of the things. I had a look at a few of the discounts. I think the biggest discount was maybe... 33% possibly 40% but really I need it to be 50% off to be honest to make any sort of money and that's even with storing these items for quarter four next year so it's not like I'm even going to be able to to flip them that quickly I am going to have to wait about 12 months to be able to flip them so yeah I just didn't really pick anything up from this um, you know, if you want to go for the half price toy sale or buy some toys from Sainsbury's or wherever it may be in sales, then go for it. Other toys, other than Le Lego, it might be worth it. But even you can see on the board games there, the, the discounts aren't brilliant, brilliant on, on the board games. So, uh, yeah, if you want to do that and be my guest, try, try your hand at it and uh, see if you can get some good discounts. But today, for me, in the uh, toy sale on the Lego, it just really wasn't worth it. In fact, this set we're coming across now, that was on about 33% discount. And I was thinking about that one, that Lego Star Wars one. But I didn't pick it up in the end because I still thought... Mm, it's not the best discount, I could get a little bit more. Anyway, we're coming to the end of this clip now, so I will see you in the next one. Here we go, coming back to the car. Got my stuff there, got my stuff here, boom. So I'm at the lockup now, I've just come to drop some stuff off. I'm not picking anything up today from here because I've got plenty to, to work at at home. So yeah, it's looking a little bit bare in here to be honest. I need to do an auction at some point. There is one on the 30th and I think there's another one maybe November sometime as well. So I've got options, I've got place to get stock. I just need to get some stock because I need to fill up this lockup. You can see the shelves here, I mean some of them are just bare. So yeah, gonna get home now anyway and finish up the vlog and uh, then record a whole video as well. So I am back home now and I've got all the items on the bed ready to share with you in a haul. So why don't we get on with the haul? So I've just had lunch now and I thought I would sit down to record the whole video. So I picked up five items today from the charity shops and also I got a further two items yesterday from a charity shop that's pretty local to me. I don't know whether any of you are aware, I think a few of you who have been watching the channel for a while will be. I actually have a charity shop about five minutes walk from my house but I rarely go there to be honest. I used to go there a lot more. I'm quite friendly with the manager there but I just don't go there as much anymore. It's not really any specific reason. Reason I, I actually should go there a lot more than I do, but I just kind of get on with stuff around the house, I'm listing, I'm doing work, and I just always forget to go there. So it's normally only once every week, once every two weeks I end up going there now. But I did get a couple of items from there as well, so I will share those with you. And with that being said, we'll get on with this and I will pick up the first item. So here's the first item here, it's actually two items, but I'm going to be selling them together because they're a nice little pair. 
You can see there, or you might just be able to see, I paid a fiver for the pair of these, so £2.50 each. Now you might be wondering, why did you bother picking up these things? They don't look like they'd be worth any money, they don't look like anything at all. Well, it is a bit of a punt, but I did sell uh, one of these kind of knitted figures, or knitted plush figures, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, it was a scarecrow, and I paid three or four pounds for it, and I flipped it into 14 99 plus postage. Fairly quickly actually and these are the same sort of style so we've got this little old man here and a little old woman as well uh, and this old man's got a little bag here for his for his, for his shopping or something he's got a coat on and he's got his scarf here and uh, I've not found any of these on complete and sold I've typed in various different things but I can't find these exact ones or even really any like them now I'm gonna go for around 20 or 25 pound plus my postage on these it does sound like quite a lot uh, it might take me a little while to get that I'm really not sure he might go pretty quickly I'm, I'm not sure I'm just guessing it'll take a little bit of time to to get that price but yeah these are worth it I mean if you get the scarecrows and stuff if you look on complete and sold on eBay for kind of knitted scarecrow plush toys you will find that a lot of them go for $12.99 $14.99 that sort of range and they are worth picking up if you can get them cheap enough so I did just pick those up you can see the, the woman there's uh, knitting as well which is pretty cool and you can tell that a bit of work gone into these in fact I've even got rosy cheeks at first when I picked it up I thought there's some dirt or marks on the cheeks but actually they are meant to be like that because the other one is like that as well so I'm pretty sure they are meant to be like that so yeah five of those hopefully into 20 or 25 pound so next I got this rather large um, hand painted and kind of inscribed design kind of been a design inscribed into the clay um, this is like a really large Italian studio pottery pot or so well, not a pot actually a vase um, but yeah 4 dollars I paid for that one um, which I thought was a pretty decent price you can see on the bottom there Italy and then some numbers um, and it says hand painted handmade pottery made in Italy and I've had a fair few smaller ones of these and so many varying styles and from also ones from Spain and Portugal and stuff like that as well and the smaller ones I generally get around 12 99 plus post maybe 14 99 plus post this is a really nice large one now I've not been able to find this exact one on complete and sold as you would imagine or any really even similar to it I've not really been able to find many similar to it but I'm thinking maybe about 30 pound on that it's nothing special but it's got a nice big size to it it is interest it is an interesting in piece even though it isn't anything really really desirable so I think £30 it should go for that I could possibly even charge a little bit more to be honest because as I say it's a nice big size and um, you could possibly even use this at a front door for an umbrella uh, you know to put your umbrellas in or something like that that kind of springs to mind but yeah 4 99 I wasn't gonna leave that and potentially uh, 30 quid into that uh, plus my postage hopefully I was just thinking then I don't think I'm gonna be able to take any less than that I don't think I would take any less than that and I think it should should get that eventually it's one of those items that could take a little while to sell though so that's that one there anyway next this item I got from the charity shop yesterday and it's something I've not really seen before I've always wanted to pick uh, these items up or similar items to these and it's this vegetable here everyday fresh now surely that should say vegetables not uh, vegetables plural not vegetable but anyway it just it just reads a bit funny when it says vegetable here and you've got this broccoli I guess that is I think it's meant to be broccoli or a bit of lettuce or something I'm not sure but it's this chalkboard it's got a bit of chalk uh, down, well yeah it's got a bit of not chalkboard blackboard that's what I want to say blackboard here for your chalk um, so it's got that there and it's just wooden um, and I paid four quid for this in the charity shop I don't know if you're gonna see it it's prices up there anyway but four quid which I thought was a pretty decent price I thought something like this would end up stickering it up at about a tenner but no it was in there for pretty cheap so I was happy with that I don't know what I'm gonna get for this because I mean, I'll, I'll obviously give you a guesstimate price in a second, but I really don't know because I've looked on Complete and Sold, and although there's like, s not similar ones, but there's other boards out there that have sold, some for maybe 25 quid, some for 30 quid, some for 40 quid, and then obviously higher than that as well, uh, depending on the desirability, I suppose, of the item. 
but I've not seen any similar ones for fruit and veg or anything like that. I can't say. I've, I've run about five or six different searches. I just can't find them. Obviously, I'm not putting in uh, the right words. I'm not searching the right words. And I'm not, I've not got them in the right order or something. So I can't actually find them on complete and sold. Um, obviously, I'm not going to find the exact one. But I may be able to find similar items if I do a bit more digging. But I was thinking maybe 30 or 40 quid on this. Um, I think that sits about right for me, really. I don't think I would go much more than the 40 quid uh, plus the postage it's not a really really desirable one it doesn't feel or look to me as if you know it's really really desirable or anything um but yeah still i wouldn't really want to take less than 30 for it so yeah four quid there into hopefully 30 quid if not 40 quid so that's pretty cool next you may have seen this in the vlog section uh ghost zapper of course i was going to pick this up i saw it and i thought oh that's cool there's definitely going to be some money in it kenner it's by kenner toys is it kenner toys or just kenner i'm not sure but yeah this ghost zapper now i've looked on completely sold it is kind of all over the place there's one guy on an auction for about 19 quid and then there's another one i don't know whether it was buy it now or auction but one of the two uh that had gone for about 40 quid and then there's all manner of ones in between and i think there's another one that might have gone for about 14 quid 15 quid on auction but to be honest i paid two quid for it so it really doesn't matter even if i'm just going to get the lower end of that scale but potentially it could be the higher end of that scale um i think really it's going to be dependent on whether it's working or not i think you have to have a batteries or something in it or whatever it may be oh no it says uh requires two lr14 and one six lf22 i guess they're the round ones are they the round batteries i'm not 100 percent sure um but yeah i'll test it up see if it's working and everything and potentially i could get the top end top top end of that scale uh but yeah they just are kind of all over the place on completely sold um but i think 30 is definitely achievable going top end obviously i might be waiting a little bit more at 40 but 30 is definitely achievable and i reckon i could achieve that in a fairly quick uh, time scale as well so yeah that's that one there as i say i've just got to check that it is working but from two pound i'm very very happy with that one so so next, something I was kind of hoping would be worth a little bit more than it is, it's this Fisher Price Jack in the Box puppet, and again I think you saw this in one of the segments of the vlog, um, I paid £2.50 for this one, so they had these stickered up at reasonable prices, which in this chat shop it was cancer research obviously as you can see by the sticker. They, you know, sometimes they price okay, but then other times they can price quite high. So I was surprised that these were actually really, really reasonable prices. Um, it's got its box, which is really, really good, and that's going to help it. Um, but yeah, two pound fifty. I've seen a few go for around a tenner plus post. I've seen others go for around twelve, thirteen quid. I've seen others go for around 15, 16 quid. I think one possibly went for 20 quid, but I think they accepted a best offer. Obviously, that's plus the postage as well. But I don't think I saw one with a box. And like, well, I actually saw one with a box, but it was a very tatty box, and it didn't go for a lot of money, actually. But I'm thinking I'm going to go for around 20. I'd, I was thinking I'll try 25, but actually, I think, I, I think I'll be waiting too long at 25. So I think I'm going to go 20 plus my postage on this um it has its box so that is going fairly high um but since it has its box and its box is in good condition um i think it deserves every little bit of 20 quid but i was hoping maybe it'd be worth a bit more possibly a bit more close to that 25 um but you never know i mean some fish apply stuff is really valuable and then others are kind of fairly standard so i'd say this one's i wouldn't say it's really valuable or anything it's kind of just a standard one but it's still a nice item to pick up and i don't really see this vintage fisher price stuff at the charity shops too much especially in in box condition as well so yeah quite nice on that one so next i picked up a bit of lego and i was very very happy to see this in one of the cabinets yes i did actually get something out of the cabinet uh, i always moan about things in the cabinets being really expensive and all the rest of it and while this was quite expensive at 7.99 it was still worth going on um, but yeah i did actually pick something up out of the cabinet it's very weird actually asking the lady in the shop to uh, if I can have a look at one of the items in the cabinet because I never do that I never never do 
that. Um, but yeah, I just I had to have a look at it in the cabinet because I didn't know whether it was sealed or not. So I wanted to check over it, make sure it was sealed. Because I, I just had this thought, oh, when she opens it up and pulls it out, it's going to be used. It's going to be opened at the back. Uh, that little fun thing there is going to be pressed in and it's going to be opened. But it's not. It's sealed. It does have some box wear. It feels like it's maybe had a little bit of water damage or something. You can see there's wear that side and then there's wear on the back here. Now, the reason I paid eight quid for this seemingly ordinary Lego set is because it's a retired Speed Champion set. And I bought quite a few of these to invest in and I did really, really well. So it's set 758899 uh, and this is Laferrari and this set did really, really well as an investment. Its retail price was $12.99, um, just like pretty much all the Speed Champions, um, and it went up to around 50, about 50, maybe 60 quid at its high on Amazon rather quickly after it retired from Lego Shop at Home and wasn't sold on there anymore. So, obviously I thought eight quid, even though it's got its damaged box, I'll probably sell this on eBay. In fact, I'm pretty much definitely thinking of selling this on eBay. One with a damaged box has gone for 30 quid plus post, um, but it did have a really, really damaged box. This one's in a bit better condition. So normally, if they're brand new and sealed with no damage to the box, they go for around 40 to 45 quid. 45 being the top kind of price that you'll get on eBay. Um, so I'm thinking of going maybe 34.99 plus my postage. I'm not going to send it into Amazon just because the box is fairly damaged, so I'm going to end up having to sell it as used very good. Yeah, I could possibly get away with selling it used like new, but to be honest, Amazon customers very strict and with the level of damage to the box I'd rather go used very good if I was selling it on Amazon and then you're ending up taking a price decrease anyway and with the FBA fees and stuff it's probably just not worth it so I'd rather just sell it on eBay to be honest so yeah from eight quid I'll get around 34.99 plus postage so that's why I picked that one up and it's always good when you have a bit of knowledge in a certain field because for example someone might completely look over this you might think oh eight quid for just a small little Lego set like that if they saw it in a cabinet they'd be they think no I'm not paying that but because I know it's a retired set because I know it's speed champions because I know it's done well in the past and uh, there's a market for it currently um, obviously that eight quid didn't really phase me I knew that I would be on to something with this so specialist knowledge is always good uh, and it's always good to kind of attain some knowledge uh, in different areas if you can do because it will give you the edge over someone else and this may have sat in there for a while before anyone really picked it up I mean you never know kid come up could have come in with the dad or something and wanted it but this could have sat in here and kind of avoided getting picked up by any resellers because they might might not have wanted to pay eight quid for such a, a small little lego set so yeah that's that one there anyway and then finally i got this kasparov uh chess set kasparov club dude oh, i can't even pronounce that can anyone even pronounce that you oh, you you go oh, I can't even, I can't I'm not even saying it I paid 4 99 for this uh, set now I have had Kasparov chess sets before I've had the electronic versions I've had two or three of them over the past I don't know two or three years or something and yeah this was 4 99 this isn't an electronic one I don't think it's just a normal kind of board I think I don't know I don't I don't know, I don't think it's electronic. Anyway, one of these has gone used on eBay for $25.99. Um, and this one is, of course, in used condition. I'm thinking of maybe going $29.99 plus my postage. So from a fiver there, I'm very, very happy, hopefully into 30 quid. There is one of these, possibly one of the electronic versions, that I think is really valuable, but I don't know which one it is. I've never had it before, but I'm sure someone has sold one. In fact, I'm sure quite a few people have sold them um, who I know for over 100 quid or something. There's one that's really valuable anyway. But yeah, Kasparov, it's a fairly decent name to pick up, I would imagine, in chess. Uh, as I say, I've had it a few times, and I think one of the ones that I picked up, I maybe got 20, 25 quid for, possibly a little bit more. So it's always worth it if you can get them for a few quid anyway. So yeah, that's that one there. And that is all the items for this haul video. So a little bit of a quicker haul video this time. I know haul videos in the past have been a little bit longer. We've actually been getting up to around 30 minutes per haul video. So Anyway, I will leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.
Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a 10 sales in approximately 10 minutes sales update. Now, we've got a few items in this sales update from recent car boot hauls and also recent charity shop hauls. So it's going to be really, really nice for you guys to see some of the items that I've actually picked up recently selling for approximately the prices that I mentioned in haul videos. And it's always nice when we can actually validate that and confirm that. So in the haul videos, I might say, oh, I'm going to get £20 for this item first. £30 for this item, £15 for this item, etc. Um, but you don't really know that I'm going to get that until it's actually sold, and that's the proof. The proof is in the pudding. So that's always nice. So I did actually pick out and made sure that I was p picking out quite a few sales of recent items so that then you can really see and understand kind of the turnaround and, uh, you know, the prices that I am actually getting for these items. It's no good if, uh, if you're not kind of seeing the sales, is it? So... Yeah, with that being said, let's whip my phone out. Let's use the little touch ID that's actually very, very good on these phones these days. And uh, let's get on with the sales. So first item here is this Weed with Biff, Chip and Kipper large children's book box set. Now the box on this was pretty worse for wear. You saw in the haul video, but it was all coming off at the bottom. Wasn't brilliant. Now these used to be worth a lot more than they are. I think top end really you're looking at now is about £25 plus your postage. Um, but more likely is around the price that I got at $19.99 plus your postage. I'm not saying you can't achieve 25 but you might be waiting a little bit longer, especially if you've got damage to the box like I have here. So I decided to go 20 and I, that actually turned out to be a pretty good decision because it went maybe a week or two, something like that, within that week to two weeks sort of time period. So that was a nice little quick flip there. I paid £5 at the car boot. I did mention in the haul video, it would have been nice to maybe pick this up for 3 or £4, but it wouldn't go any lower. And I was thinking, you know what, I'm not going to leave it. I'll pick it up. There's going to be some money in it. So yeah, that, that kind of went for what I was sort of thinking it would do on the whole video I said, between sort of 20 and 25. Um, and I got that pretty quick, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, nice little quick flip, nice little bit of profit in that. And now I can reinvest that money into something else, so that's always good. So next, something I picked up from a charity shop very recently in one of the whole videos. This Disney Store Lion King 14-inch, is it Jana? Yana plush or something. Not sure quite how you pronounce that, but it's J-N-A-Y-A. -A. And it's a little hyena, a soft plush toy. And it's quite a rare one, this, or you got to be careful when you're using the word rare. I mean, you know, sometimes it's worth using uncommon or something like that. Because some people can get a bit huffy and puffy about it. Oh, that isn't rare, you know, all the rest of it. But I did put rare in the title with this one. Because I didn't really see that many on completed and sold and stuff. So I think it was... It was definitely very uncommon. But yeah, I put here where um, I got 39.99 plus my postage for this one. So yeah, pretty nice uh, sale there. I can't remember exactly what I paid from a charity shop. I'm terrible. My memory is absolutely terrible. I forget things within an instant. Really, I do. It just They just go out of my mind. It's crazy. But I know I definitely didn't pay more than £4 for this. I think I paid 2 or £3 though. But it is in one of the whole videos on one of the episodes of the ad show. So if you want to go back and check it out, then you can do. Um, but yeah, 39 99 plus my post. Even if I paid 4 quid, it doesn't really matter. I've got a brilliant profit on that anyway. Um, so yeah, and that went pretty quick, even at 39 99 And that was real top end that I went for. 39 99 is absolute top end on this item, really. I mean, someone else might come along and put one on for 44.99 and they might be able to kind of set a new new high price or whatever but yeah that is real top end on, on this item and it actually went pretty quickly so I got pretty good money and pretty quickly so it's always worth it when you've got the right items go high shoot high on things and uh, you may get it and uh, we've got next we've got a really nice item here this Star Wars episode 1 to 6 original framed film cell special edition collectible it's lovely this framed item here really really nice really really cool I picked this up for a fiver at the car boot again it will have been in a whole video at some point probably a little while ago this one it, uh, you know it's hung around for a little while but I don't mind waiting because it's a little little bit more of a higher value item. Um, it went in the 10% off sale, so it was $79.99, um, but it went for $71.99 plus postage. I'm not going to complain with that even at that 10% off because obviously I paid a fiver for it, so I'm more than happy with that margin there. Really, really nice item and just something cool as well to pick up. I don't think I've ever had any of these film cell um, like sort of framed with the kind of the pictures. Uh, I've never, I've never really had that, so 
it's just interesting to me and I have seen them out and about other ones but I've not really picked them up because they've either been too expensive or I've not really known what I was doing too much with them uh, but yeah this one was just at the right price I thought a fiver I can't really go wrong and yeah definitely didn't go wrong with that one so I was glad I kind of stepped out of my comfort zone a little bit um, but yeah really really cool that one and also actually just on that one it had its i think it had like some sort of certificate of authenticity on the back as well um so that kind of maybe made me a bit more comfortable with picking it up as well so yeah that's those next we've got a very very bread and butter sale but it's just something to highlight the importance of bread and butter items really in those 10 pound 15 pound 20 pound items these are vintage epns silver plate set of six fish uh forks cutlery you know very very simple items these uh, wouldn't have really cost me hardly anything. In fact, I think these came in that job five pound job lot of cutlery that I got about I don't know a hundred pound out of in sales value. So I got a big bag full of loads of different cutlery sets from the car boot for a fiver. You may have seen it in a haul video. And these were just one set of EPNS uh, forks in there. And yeah, I got like a hundred pound in sales value. About I think I've sold another set as well, so I'm in profit. So yeah, just really nice item. Won't have cost me hardly anything, as I say. Um, and that's just the importance of bread and butter items. They don't take long to pack these at all, as you would imagine. You know, they're nothing really, really hard to pack. Um, and they just steadily tick away. So, yeah, you know, don't don't dismiss uh, the lower value stuff. And uh, if you can pick it up for very, very cheap or you get it as part of a job lot and it's virtually free to you, then, yeah, definitely uh, list them, get them on there. And it just helps sustain the business, especially during slow times as well. Because during slow times for me, it's always the bread and butter items that still come through for me um, and still kind of prop me up a little bit. So next we've got a Lego Halloween Haunt uh, 40260, brand new and sealed in box, and I got 14.99 for this. Uh, I paid four pound for quite a few of these last year uh, in the sales at Argos. I think we were maybe. 50% off retail, 60% off retail, something like that. So it's not the most uh, desirable margin, £4 into £15, but considering it's an RA item, you know, considering we're looking at an RA margin here, um, it's still pretty decent for an RA margin, that. So, uh, yeah, it may not be car boot or charity shop margins, but it's still nice, it's still a nice little margin, and I was glad to finally sell one of these. I think I sold another one as well not too long ago. I've got four or five of these left, I think, so, yeah. Uh, that's that one there anyway, just a nice little sale really that I, that I wanted to share. Next we've got this vintage antique silver plate EP uh, metal teapot with black handle. This is a nice little teapot, it's nothing really really special, it's nothing incredibly desirable but it's just a nice little teapot and someone is going to like this. Uh, I got 19 99 plus my post for this one. Chances are I'm probably in profit on the metalware job lot this came in but even if I'm to express this item as an individual cost within uh, said job lot it came in, I'm probably looking at no more than about one or two pound for this so not a lot at all so yeah if we're gonna say that this cost me let's say two pound even if i'm not in profit on the job like came in um then two pound into 20 quid it's still a fantastic margin so yeah that's that one there just a, a nice looking little item uh, and something decent to share as well next something else i've got very very recently from the car boot uh, this actually sold quite quickly so i'm kind of thinking oh maybe i should have gone 20 quid on this but it's always the way i paid did I pay £3 for this? I think, yeah, I think I paid £3. I'm pretty certain I paid £3 on this one. Uh, Radica Cube World Series 3 Virtual Toy, new and sealed. 15 quid plus my postage on that. They had seen, I've seen very, very similar ones of these, brand new and sealed, go for around 16, 17 quid on Buy It Now uh, multiple times. So I just put them on at 15 quid plus my postage, which is similar sort of price, really. And yeah, it went pretty quick. You know, I was happy with it, but as I say, maybe I could have got 20 on it, maybe I could have got a bit more, but it's always the way, as I say. So I'm not bothered. I'm just going to reinvest that money and get on to the next thing. There's really nothing you can do when something sells. So there is literally no point in uh you know thinking oh you know i wish i'd got more for it and all the rest of it you didn't get more for it move on you know reinvest the money get something else you know try try uh try your luck next time maybe shoot higher on something next time but you know kind of being annoyed about it isn't gonna solve anything because it's gone it's sold that's it so you may as well just move on but yeah that's that one there anyway uh, but if I had, in hindsight, obviously, I would have priced uh, a little bit higher for that one. But yeah, that's that one there. Next, we've got this uh, Nintendo GameCube Wario World and Luigi's Mansion video games bundle here. Uh, now, I got a load of GameCube games from the charity shop. 
They were either a pound or one pound fifty each. I had them in that cupboard up there actually for ages. I don't kind of know why I put them in the cupboard. I just kind of put them away. Uh, maybe rainy day kind of thing. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what my logic was on it. But they all had terrible, terrible scratches to the discs. Really, really bad scratches to the discs. Anyway, so what I did was I literally put these four games that I had on. I had Super Mario Sunshine, I had Wario, uh, Wario World that also had Luigi's Mansion as a disc only game inside it. Uh, I had Mario Strikers Football or something, and I had uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. So very good titles, quite desirable titles, but they're all scratched up to, to hell, basically. They're just terrible. And so what I did was I just literally whacked them on at auction. I, show, I tried to show him the photos, actually. I did a couple of photos of the discs, and normally you can't really show the scratches on the disc in a photo because it just doesn't, you know, the glare and stuff, it just doesn't really come up. But I actually managed to do them on an angle where you could actually see the scratches, and I was pleased with that because I didn't want people to get them, even though I've advertised them with the disc, disc scratch and stuff. I didn't want them to get them without seeing the scratches, so I was glad that I could get an angle on those scratches and actually show them in a photo. But yeah, I just put them all on auction, maybe starting at four ninety nine each or something, and that would have made me in profit on them anyway, because as I say, I only paid one or two quid. And this one went all the way up to twenty six sixty eight plus my postage there. Now, I don't know why I've put 61p postage on there. Maybe that was the eBay recommended postage and I forgot to change it when I was going through. I'm not sure. Um, but they probably would have cost me a little bit more postage. Maybe uh, the 119 or something it is with Royal Mail. So, yeah, it might, I might have a little bit to come off the postage there. Um, but, yeah, still, I don't mind. It was a good sale. Um, also, the um, Mario Sun Super Mario Sunshine went for 17 Mario Kart Double Dash went for 20, 21, something like that. Mario Super Strikers went for uh, £10. And then Mario... Did I say Mario Kart? I think I said Mario Kart. I think that's everything. And then this one went for 26. Yeah, I think that's everything. And there might be one other that went as well. So I still got decent money for them, even untested and even with all the scratches and stuff. So I'm more than happy with that, just whacking them on auction, getting a bit of money out of them. They've been sat in that cupboard for ages, just nothing happening with them. So yeah, just glad to do that really. Uh, next we've got this Vintage Butler & Co. Dewberry Boxed Pie Server Cake Slice. $22.49, it went in the sale, 10% off sale, it was $24.99, uh, plus my postage there. Now this was the second item to go from that cutlery job lot, do you remember a while, well not, it wasn't too long ago, maybe a couple of months ago, I got a, might not have even been a couple of months ago actually, it might have only been about a month, month and a half ago, um, but I got loads of boxed cutlery, uh, this kind of butler and co, for £40, absolutely loads of it. I've only sold two items so far out of it, and the next item I sell will put me in profit because I paid £40 for it. This one went for 22 The other one went for like 19 99 plus post. So the next item will put me in profit. And then after that, it's just pure profit. And as I say, I've got so much of this left listed. I've got, I must have five sets of it. And then I've got other knives and forks that didn't really form sets that I showed in the whole video that are still on as well. So yeah, I've got plenty to sell from that job lot. And as I say, the next sale will put me in profit. So that's going to be pretty cool. Lovely little a little pie service, really nice item, really well crafted and stuff. And therefore, that's why it got 22 quid just on its own, really. Because some of these pie servers and stuff, you, you won't get that. You won't get that on its own. Um, so that's why that one did get a bit more, because it is, it is a nice item. Uh, next, something else I picked up from the car boot not too long ago. I paid £2.50 for this WWE World Heavyweight Champion Kids Toy Wrestling Belt. And I mentioned in the whole video, I think I was looking at 14 99 free post. And that's exactly what I got. Probably went within a week or so, so that was a nice quick turnaround. You know, I'm not I'm not holding out on these items for like incredible, incredible prices. I'm just pricing them in line with what they're selling for, and they are selling for me, and that's what I do. That's what I've always done with a lot of the toys and stuff. Um, a little bit harder with ceramics and things like that, and collectibles and antiques. They're a little bit slower, um, unless you're pricing them really low, of course, and j someone just happens to kind of find one of them quickly. But with toys and games, it's very, very easy to hit that marker and get a quick sale almost every time, especially if you get the right stuff. So 250 into 15 quid, pretty happy with that, nice little margin in it, and it was a quick turnaround, so it means that I can obviously reinvest that money again, and uh, we can get buying some other stuff that will potentially sell pretty quickly as well. So, oh yeah, that's, is that everything? So I've just checked, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my god, we've we've done the ten. I couldn't I couldn't believe that. I, I thought I'd only done about five of them then. So that is everything we've done all of the ten sales today. So I hope you did enjoy that sales update, and I hope you did enjoy today's ad show. I guess that I'll probably put this as the last segment. So I guess all that remains to, for me to do is say goodbye and thank you very much for watching today's show. If you haven't already, then please do consider subscribing if you do like the content that you are absorbing from me. That's a good word, isn't it? Absor absorbing. Uh, it kind of sounds a bit weird, doesn't it, actually, in that context? But still, we're going to go with it. But if you like the content, then please do subscribe or, or at least consider it. And uh, yeah, if you uh, would give it a like, I would really, really appreciate that as well. For any comments, questions or queries as well that you may have down below. And I suppose I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys.